you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm gonna be showing you how to make this beaded bow uh, Christmas earrings and I will show you step by step so I'm sure by the end of this video you will be able to make them by yourself. They are made of two whole beads called twin beads or super duo beads whatever you have in your stash and uh, they are made with the famous peyote stitch if you don't have a chain you could skip this part and attach directly to your work so uh, don't worry if you don't have chains and you could also use these balls and attach them on a chain directly through this hole here so they don't need to be even ear wires okay so if you like what I'm showing you here, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button to be notified for my new absolutely free upcoming videos for fresh bidding ideas and you could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much you help me only with this action and if you make beautiful jewelries following my tutorials, please share them on my Facebook page that I posted below this video. I will be so happy to see your creations. Down there in description you will find a full list of materials, Amazon links where you could buy supplies from, link to my store and link for PayPal donations to develop this channel. Thank you so much for watching. Now I will start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I need for this video are two colors of twin beads or super dual beads with two holes. And these here are ear wires, chains and jump rings. Uh, but you could skip these uh, chains. You don't need them. You could use only the ear wires if you don't want to use them and directly attach them to your work with the jump rings okay and here i use also eight o beads two of them to attach these jump rings and uh, this is monofilament that is 0 0.006 inches or 0 0.15 millimeters and here i use size 10 beading needle scissors and pliers to attach those here and now i'm going to take about half an arm span of thread on my needle and you could take more if you want to reinforce, but at least half an arm span. And I'm going to start. Okay, guys, and I'm going to start my work by picking up six of those beautiful twin beads. Okay. I have here six of those twin beads. And I'm going to slide those down almost until the end of this thread. And here, what I want to do is make a knot. And I'm making my knot as always. I'm making a loop and I'm going with my tail thread twice through the loop I've made. I pull and this is called surgeon's knot or half hitch knot. And I'm making one more knot here. Just to be on the safe side. And now I go here and... You could go reinforcing the whole joint here, but now I will go through two beads, okay? Now I have this, this is the basis of my work, and I will go through the other empty hole of this twin bead that I'm exiting out of, so here and here. Now guys, what I like to do is flip my work, because I'm going to go in this direction for my second row and it's easier for me to flip my work okay and now i'm going to take a golden and a red and i'm going through the following then again a golden and a red and i'm going through the following Again, a golden and a red. Go through the next empty hole. And I'm going to continue these three more times. Okay, guys, and now I have this. Okay, and what I want to do is go like this in this direction, exit out of the red one, 
And now in this row, I'm going to add only golden beads, okay? I'm exiting here and back in this direction, and I'm exiting out of the empty hole of this red bead. And in order to be easier for me, I will flip my work. And here I'm going to add only golden beads everywhere. Every golden bead I will surround with two golden beads. You see? Take one and one more. Okay, I surrounded the first one. Then again one. And one more. And I'm going to continue this until the end of this row. Okay guys, now I have this. Now in my next step, I want to go through this golden and I will turn directions, okay? I'm exiting out of this hole and I'm going through the other empty hole of my work. And here I want to add only red beads everywhere. And now later I will have some flowers on my work showing. And this one is will be the splitter of the flowers. And this one, the next one, surrounded by goldens, will be the center of my flower. Okay. But you don't need to remember that. Just remember that you should add red beads everywhere. The whole length of my work. Okay, and I'll let you do this by yourself, adding red beads, and when I'm up to here, I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay, guys, and now I'm here where I'm adding my last red bead from this row, it's, and see, when I pull, this is what I have. I have uh, my work bending, and uh, my ball is starting to form, okay? And what I want to do next is go through this red one here. And I'm going to change directions, okay? I will go through this red one in this direction. Okay, and you see now what I have. Here I'm going to add a golden bead. I'm going through one of my reds in this direction and in this direction okay then i'm taking a golden and i'm going in this direction one more golden going here okay and pulling you see my flower here is almost ready i just need one golden here and it will be ready okay then again, a golden. And pull. Golden bead. And from now on, until the end of this row, I'm going to add only golden beads. And when I'm up to here, when I add my last golden, I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay guys, and this whole row I was adding only golden beads and I'm here where I'm adding my last golden. And you see how here I form something like a flower, okay? So now what I want to do is go here in this direction through this golden red golden, okay? I will turn it just to see what I'm doing. And now I'm exiting through one of those goldens. You see here my flower is forming one, two, three goldens and two more goldens and red in the middle. Okay, and I will finish it with one golden here. 
Okay. Then here I need a splitter bead, which is a red one. Red one is for my splitters and for the center of those flowers that are forming. Okay. This is a, this is a flower here. And this is a splitter between my flowers. And now I need to finish my other flower here. You see, a golden. And the next one will be red. Okay. A red one. And I'm going to continue alternating a golden. And a red one. And I'm going to continue this until the end of this row. Golden red, golden red. And when I'm ready, when I finish this row, I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay, and here I'm adding my last red bead. Okay. Now I have my last red bead added. And now you see... When you look it from this side, this is what you have. Okay. Now I want to exit out of the next golden. And also through the empty hole of this golden. Okay, like that. Again, I'm exiting out of the empty hole of my bead. And now I want to take one red bead. And after that, I'm doing something different. I'm going back through those two twin beads in this direction. Okay. This time I'm going through two beads, not through one. And in this way, I will decrease my work. Take one more red and go through the following red and golden. Okay, here you see I'm going through two beads and pulling. Take one red, only one red, and go through the red and through the golden. So I'm adding one and going through two beads. It's really easy. It's nothing difficult and nothing special. One and go through the red and through the golden that are sticking out. Okay. One red and go through the red and through the golden that are sticking out. Okay. One red and go through the red and through this golden. Okay. You see what I have here. And with this, I'm finishing the row. Okay. And when I finish this row, I have six red beads that are sticking out. You see? The ones that I added last. Okay. And one, two, three, four, five, six beads. Okay. And I'm going to use those six beads in order to finish and close my work. And in order to do this, I'm going through one of those beads here. Okay. Let's say I'm exiting out of this one. You see, it's sticking out. You see, sticks out. And I'm going through its empty hole. Okay. And then you see here, on my way, exiting out of this empty hole, in circle, I have another red bead that's sticking out. Pulling those together. And you see here, I have another red bead that's sticking out. Pulling. And another one here. Okay. And another. And one more, okay, I'm going through two beads that stick, are sticking out. 
And I went through six beads that are sticking out and I'm going now through the first and through the second one here on my way. Okay. And when I pull, you see what I have. I have absolutely the same thing that I had from this side. The same way I started my work, I'm finishing it. Okay, and I'm going to reinforce it one more time. In order to stick together. And in fact, at this stage, my bowl is ready. You can put it on a chain or you could turn it into an earring. And now I'm going to show you how to turn it into an earring. And in order to do this, I'm taking this HO bead here. And as I'm exiting from this super do in this direction, I will go through the opposite super do and in the same direction where my thread is pointing to. Okay. And I'm going to pull. Now I will go here through this one, through the following, and here through the center of my bead. And again here. And what I do next is that I will find a place to make a knot. Okay. Let's say I will come here. Okay. I have a lot of thread and I could use it to reinforce my work. Okay. But I won't let make you watch this. Okay. If you want to do this and here I'm making my knot to finish my work by making a loop going twice through this loop I've made making sure I'm between those two beads where I started my knot from, pulling. And then you could repeat this process, this process as many times as you like, and then go through the following seed bead and cut your thread, never cut next to a knot. Okay, and now my beaded bead is ready. And in order to finish it, I need this chain and this ear wire, or you could skip the chain, you could imagine that there is no chain here, only the ear wire. And now I will show you how to do this. Okay, I'm opening up this jump ring here and I will take my chain or I will attach it directly here at my ear wire if I don't have a chain. And in my next step, I will go through this last A2 that I attached here. I will go in this direction, like that. And I'm going to squeeze. Okay. Now... I will pull my work in this direction and you see with this my Christmas beaded bow is ready. Okay guys and now my Christmas beaded bow earrings are ready so if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button to be notified for my new absolutely free upcoming videos for fresh beading ideas and you could also like share and comment and you don't know how much you help me only with this action and if you make beautiful jewelry following my tutorials please share them on my facebook page that i posted below this video i will be so happy to see your creations down there in description you will find a full list of materials links where you could buy supplies from link to my store and link for paypal donations to develop this channel thank you so much for watching bye bye from me